The Kentucky Theater has been home to the Lexington area since 1922. The theater was used as an entertainment place for the members of the community to come and watch the popular movie of the week. In the 1950s, the Kentucky Theater was one of the first air-conditioned public buildings in the town of Lexington. When the summers were hot, people would take their family and friends and watch a movie at the theater. With the theater attracting so many people, there was always the issue of who exactly was allowed to buy tickets. This is where the racial aspects of the Kentucky Theater first came about. Though back when segregation was the norm of society, the racial aspects associated with the theater were not as prominent as they are in today's society. Before explaining the modern day theater, there must be knowledge about the theater in the Kentucky area from earlier decades. The book, Actors, Audience, and the Historic Theaters of Kentucky by Marilyn Castro gave an informative explanation of how the theater was different in the early 19th century. She states, shifts in theater design were partially the result of alterations in audience expectations and in the types of performances offered. For the most part, when black Americans were portrayed, it was not as normal people, but as buffoons. The 1840s saw the rise of minstrelsy, in which mostly white but almost black performers sang and danced while made up in blackface. This is achieved by smearing coal on the face. She also says, the players entertained the audience using comic skits, parodies of popular plays and musicals, and general buffoonery and slapstick comedy, all with heavy utilization of racial stereotyping and racist themes. From knowing background information about how racism played a role in the theater in the 19th and 20th century, we are able to connect it to the modern Kentucky theater. On the main website, www.kentuckytheater.com, they describe the details of the atmosphere of the building, the luxury, comfort, and elegance of hand-painted murals, plush carpeting, indirect lighting, and marble floors is to be expected when walking into the theater. Some movies played at the theater now include Eye in the Sky, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and many more. The Kentucky Theater used to have two sections of seating. The lower section was for Caucasians, and the higher balcony was made for African Americans when it was first built. The building did not take out the balcony until the late 1980s when there was damage done to the building from a neighboring fire. Due to how late it took the theater to take away the segregation balcony, it is known for racial accusations of not wanting African Americans to attend the theater. Also, the theater made sure that during the renovation, they kept the older cultural architecture. This can be seen as them keeping the old atmosphere and not wanting to change with modern times. From the racial aspects connected with the Kentucky theater from the balcony, this can be related to the amount of African Americans who attend the theater today. In 2015, the theater showed the opening of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, where it was a sold-out crowd of about 800 people. This picture was taken at the event, and if one is to analyze the picture, there is one element that stands out. There is not a single African American in the audience, which is not usual for huge events as such. Based on the information we know about the racist background of the theater, one is able to say how the lack of African Americans must be in effect from the history of the theater.